Hello, this is Jer. I'm playing the quality of life update with uh, oxygen not included. Start it off by starting to clean out the air down this area. All that polluted oxygen is coming from this guy here. And I have the dupes going in here with uh, gas masks, but I thought it'd be nice they don't have to put on gas masks. They could come down here and put on Atmo suits because I want to experiment with this area. So just notice water is getting very uncomfortably low. And the Pakus probably are not happy about that either. So what I did is I drew this pipe up here, which was, uh, well, still is feeding the metal refinery, but it's also now going down here, being converted to water in this water sieve. And it's joining up here with the water that's been recycled from the washroom. In priority order, water from the washroom is going to be going through. And then only if this is out will it uh, start to consume water from this polluted water. And this is now feeding into the main base. So it's going to go through the washroom and out and visit all the electrolyzers that are around. Any other application I have for water. And this pump here, I will no longer need. So I want this geyser to be able to keep producing polluted water. So I carved out this area down here. I even put in the liquid tempidizer. Just gonna say basically if this is uh, really, really cold water, you might wanna heat it up before we pump it out. So I'm gonna now get the dupes or possibly the rover to break this. And we won't have to worry about this running out of space, but it is dormant. And that is making me nervous. It's not active for, not going to be active for 43 cycles. Can we survive on just this? Well, I think we need to go geyser hunting. Rover splash down. Dupes are here to join all the fun. We'll see some liquid fall down. Heating is uh, not needed at the moment. Actually, I didn't think about this, did I? No, I did not. Maybe I should have joined that in first, but uh, dupes work on that pipe. Just realized I didn't put in a heavy watt joint plate like I had planned. So just had to put in tiling temporarily to get this in. Well, if I was looking for another water geyser, I haven't found it here. Here's a copper volcano. I uh, may use that someday, but right now I'm more interested in water for survival. So at the top of the base where Artist is, I see a cool slush geyser right here. And I see a cool salt geyser. I think this is going to be the solution to our water situation. Metal's getting a little bit low. There's lots of lead here, and as long as I only use it in places where I don't expect it to overheat, that would be okay. Let's do a little bit of exploring in this area. Dupes. So over on this world, I've been pumping somewhere there. It is. Uh, I've been pumping this ethanol back to the home world. May have certain applications for that coming up, figured. I'd uh, just store that next to the teleporter output for use later on. Sending Miner over to the other world because I like the geysers that I see over here a lot more. And I want to get connected with the two of these guys at the top of this space. Probably should do something about the hydrogen that's building up here too. Dupes are on this world. They found a lot of hydrogen here, so they're going to be pushing that into, of course, a hydrogen generator, so we won't have to be on the manual generator, because I've got a lot of work for these dupes to do. we got to get to some cool water geysers. So this system here is definitely not without its faults. Sometimes when dupes pick up critters, they don't actually make it uh, over. 
So they end up going on break just when they're carrying them and drop them on the way. A little annoying. I forgot these geysers aren't going to actually produce any air because carbon dioxide freezes. But I can transport frozen carbon dioxide. So maybe I'll do that instead of what I've done over here, trying to pump something that's never going to uh, arrive. So we've got a new line going around here. Filled that with fluted water. Just for a little bit of extra temperature protection. But it's going through this zone. And if the temperature is essentially not uh, is too hot, it's going to direct that liquid to go and cool down. I've got some radiant pipes down this cool water. And take that into the base. Now let's see what we, uh, how we are doing with temperature. I see a little bit of reduction of heat in some of the rooms. I put radiant pipes around the electrolyzers, so hopefully that's going to make things look a little bit more comfortable around this zone. Take a minute and see where we are in terms of colony achievements. It's going pretty quick. Oxygen not included. It's distributed oxygen. I think I might have missed. Was it turn of the century or pay the bills? Anyways, the one I really care about is a super sustainable. Where are we making progress with that? A uh, long way off. I would love to be burning some coal or making some other forms of carbon dioxide, but uh, oh well. I discovered an issue with this setup. These are open at the same time. They're able to cross over, and that's how these guys are getting out. I'm going to put a tile here, but ideally, we actually have more space in between each one of these. We have a regular tile. Maybe something to clean up at some point down the line. So, get the dupes to uh, create this pipeline goes all the way towards the teleportation equipment so just going to be jumping over this ethanol that I collected from there hopefully going to be getting Pluto water and brine so the dupes have been busy over here they've been digging out spots for this little cache of water and Pluto water from this cool slush to uh, drop in now we're just digging over to this area where I can eventually get brine to be joining in, in the mix. And this is all going to be heading back to the home world via this pump. And I'll be getting polluted water, water and brine eventually. And I'll have to filter it over on the home world. Get the dupes to start bringing over solid carbon dioxide. It's cool. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of a spill because I left some ice that I had printed. Probably should have moved that ice to this bin here like I had planned, but never happened. Oh well. But let's just see where this cool carbon is landing. I'm just having it go in here, drop at this point. And if I can get some significant amount of carbon in this area, I'll build a pump down here. So I've unclogged the two cool geysers on this world. Need, might need to do a little bit of digging around here. To let that drain, but some brine now is arriving as well. Had to lock this door. Wasn't tall enough. But this is going to be liquid that I can use for both cooling, but also oxygen production. No rush to bring it over to the other world because they still have lots of cash of liquid there. But uh, this is going to be needed at some point. So glad to have this started to, to be stored here. There were 100,000 calories of food. I think we can get rid of these guys. Probably should have done that a little while ago. But uh, let's get rid of this. Not a great source of food. And very time consuming. Okay, a little bit of a change needed to be put in here because these uh, critters were going back and forth between the rooms. I need actual solid walls 
But also, that's not the only thing, when critters are actually standing in here with the door open and there's nothing underneath it, this is not counting them. So I was getting the wrong count. So a little bit of bigger room is now needed. That's going to allow us to actually have this all work out correctly. Let's go check out the stables. Got seven here, seven here. I'm going to plan to put four smooth hatches and then seven here. So the stables are good. Just need a little bit more cleanup on this side. So this is looking a little bit healthier and we'll see how this goes as we progress. Remove the gas mask stations that used to be here. Now we're pumping down oxygen. And it's just this zone that I'm requiring the dupes to put on their masks. Just to make it a little bit easier for the dupes to breathe when they get down to this area. Now I've got these deodorizers that go all the way down, proving the oxygen. So this guy needs one tile right here. We finally have liquid flowing from the other world. Fluted water, water at the moment. That's going to be heading down here just to be stored out in this zone. So that'll increase the amount of water that I get overall. Also, it's going to give me options for cooling down the base. So that, this little temperature exchange area, this thing's checking if this is a cool enough. If it gets cool, it's going to open these, creating a vacuum, but if it's too warm, it's going to actually close these like it is right now. It's going to let all this cold temperature into this area, because I'm using this as a heat exchange for the base. It's this is cold water, or polluted water, going through this line that's helping take the temperatures down my base, but uh, not having a great effect overall. So I think that is going to help things out. A little bit of cool area here, but that was ice. But we are hanging on. But that's going to improve dramatically with the use of both this. But not only that, I also have tons and tons of cold liquids just being dropped off right here. And I'll be able to use that right now. I still have this cache of fluted water to survive on. Let's look at the washroom area. We're still actually on a tank and a half of water that's been refiltered and cleaned. But the fact that we're actually receiving lots of liquid from the other worlds, and cold liquid in particular, is going to make it very easy to survive. I'm going to be able to use this for cooling, but I'm also going to use that for oxygen production. And there is a lot of it from this world <laughs> that has arrived in not only that whoops Maybe we should dig that guy out how are you doing you are fine at the moment but maybe we'll get a path up to you all right well that is it for this episode i have two cool geysers on my base from, from over here and i'm pumping all the liquid from them to my home world well, thank you for watching. If you want to see more of the lab, me play through this, I should have a new video out pretty soon.